I turned one 15-minute podcast into 10 YouTube shorts in the same amount of time that it took me to drink a coffee. But are they any good? When it comes to shorts, YouTube's algorithm looks for two specific things in every single upload. And if any video falls short of those two benchmarks, it stops being sent into the feed. So can this AI tool fill out my content calendar and actually get views too? I took my 15 minute podcast, uploaded it to VClips, chose my settings for viral shorts, and then let the AI get to work. I made a cup of coffee and boom, I've now got an email with a link to my vertical YouTube shorts in my inbox. So let's take a look at the first one. You do secure a collaboration. You want to make sure here that you have a signed agreement with dates, deliverables, terms and conditions. As you can see, the AI has picked out the most interesting parts. It's centered me in the frame and I've even got animated subtitles, which is all great. Another cool feature here that we've got is the suggested video title for each clip. Now we can use this when it comes time to upload. We've also got a scorecard here for every video indicating how likely it is to perform on my YouTube. And we've even got a full transcription of what is being said in each clip. To download each clip, just click here. But before you download, there are a few things that you do need to keep in mind to make Make successful YouTube shorts. So let's optimize the first video here by clicking edit and we're going to tweak the video to ensure that every short that the AI has created has the very best chance of going viral. So have you noticed that your shorts they start to plateau around the 800 to 2000 view mark? This is because of two factors here that impact your reach on the app. So which elements am I talking about? The first thing it looks at is the video hook. So a hook refers to the first five seconds of any video and it kind of does exactly what it says on the tin. It hooks you in. It catches the attention of the viewer and it convinces them to continue on watching your video. Now your shorts, they need to hit over the 70% in the viewed versus swiped away graph on your YouTube analytics. And if it's any less than that, YouTube's going to assume that the topic of your video, well, it just isn't interesting enough and then you're going to stop getting views. So for my podcast clip here, I want the viewer to know exactly what the video is about right away. So to do this, I'm going to add a text tile here and that's going to give context and it's also going to intrigue the viewer. Click text in the toolbar and then click headline title or you can choose from any of the pre-style templates. We're going to type out our hook sentence here and then we're going to style it. So you can change the font, the size, the color, the style and feel free to play around with any of the animations. Then we can change the duration of the time that that remains on screen. You can push it to the left to shorten it or to the right to extend it. Perfect. We've got our hook included now and that's going to grab attention and that leads me to my second metric that YouTube Shorts watches out for and that's video retention. So obviously this refers to the percentage of your video that the audience watches. YouTube wants you to have a rate of 80% or higher for shorts and any less than that you're going to stop getting recommended. So videos here with a higher audience retention, they tend to stick to the main topic and it's a very tightly edited video with lots of pattern interrupts. Now this could be overlaying footage, adding background music, sound effects, or using effects here like split screen. So let's add a split screen effect here. We're going to use some stock footage and I'll even add in some background music that's going to set the tone of our short. So on V's editor here, I'm going to place my playhead at the point I want my split screen to begin. I'm going to click media in the toolbar and then search next to stock videos. Now I can type in any footage here that I need and I'm going to be given several options to choose from. And just so you know, all the stock footage and all the stock audio on Veed is entirely royalty free, so no issues with copyright strikes. I'm going to select this clip here and then I can resize it and reposition it on screen to create that split screen effect. I can shorten the length of time that that clip remains on screen by pushing it over to the left. And then you can repeat this as many times as you like, or if you just want to add, let's say, a B-roll, all you have to do is just scale that up to the full frame size. Finally, we're going to add stock music here just to give with some ambience and set the tone of the short. So move your playhead over to the beginning of the short, click audio in the toolbar and then click search next to stock audio. You can search for a track here by genre or by trait. Then click play here to hear a demo and then click plus to add it to your YouTube short. We're then going to push it over to the left here just so that the music and the video, they all end in sync and you can adjust the volume accordingly. Perfect. Now we've tweaked our YouTube short. We're going to give ourselves here the strongest chance of going viral. I'm just going to export the video and then we can play it back to see how it turned out. Once you do secure a collaboration, you want to make sure here that you have a signed agreement with dates, deliverables, terms and conditions. Don't ever turn up to a hotel without one. Once the agreement is signed and then you arrive at the hotel, that is where the real deal starts. So what should you do when you arrive to the hotel? How do you act? Who do you talk to? Yada yada. Now that is a cracking short. And if I repeat this on my other nine videos, I've now got a whole backlog of content ready to post thanks to the AI clipping tool. That's it guys. I really hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.